Hello guys, my name is Anna and I'm from Ukraine and I vlog daily to keep you updated on the real life situation in my country as this war continues. We have to win despite all the horrors and we are grateful for your support. And today was another massive missile attack day on Ukraine. More than 40 were targeted on our capital Kyiv. In Kriverif, they destroyed a part of the house and led to the death of two civilians or maybe more, we still don't know. Anyway, it was a bad and difficult morning, but we will survive. Uh, I woke up early because I planned to have a Zoom with my students, but I did not have this opportunity because air raid began early at 9 or even before 9, which means no classes and we have to try to protect ourselves from the possible attacks. And pretty soon we realized that this attack will be massive. Uh, more than 60, close to 70 missiles were uh, shot in uh, Ukraine, in the direction of Ukraine. We were targeted from different locations and this is Russian technique to confuse Ukrainian air defense uh, systems. And as a result, they have targeted these missiles from the Black Sea and from the plain, some of which flew from the territory of Belarus, once again proving that this country is at war already. <clears throat> And uh, out of uh, 40 missiles that were targeted on Kyiv, 37 were stopped by Ukrainian air defense system, which means that Russians have spoiled billions of dollars on nothing. Um, I don't know, like, I do think that the word orcs to describe them is too kind, because these people spent billions of dollars on uh, the means to kill innocent civilians in Ukraine, when they have so many problems inside of their own country. This is something very violent and very stupid at the same time. Also, I think that uh, it is important to say that um, people in Kyiv are very well prepared despite the dangers. Underground had to stop and worked as a bomb shelter and there are lots of photos already of people staying there. And of course, this caused a serious uh, problem to our energy system. More than 50% of it is not working properly, which means more blackouts, rolling outages and other things. And this may also include water this time. So what I did this morning, instead of lecturing, I was uh, like saving water <laughs> for anything that we might need. And uh, so far we have electricity and I don't know what will be in the evening. Our region was not targeted, but uh, the system, we are all united and we have to support each other. And I don't know how will it work, but perhaps the schedules of um, outages uh, will be more uh, strict and more complicated because like 50% of system is not working normally. And we have something like emergency situation in our uh, Ukrenerho, which is like a system that controls everything. Also, uh, the mayor of Kyiv, uh, Vitaly Klitschko, uh, demonstrated just how Ukrainians adapt and prepare them themselves for everything. In case when the blackout uh, turns out to be long in Kyiv or permanent for a couple of days, everyone is prepared. Well, first of all, the transport there will be more buses instead of various kinds of electric transport like trolley buses, electric trains and so on. So people will be able to travel and to travel for free. So there will be additional buses. Underground stations which are above the ground will not work, but those that are below will work, but as bomb shelters and as warming up uh, locations where people can uh, charge their phones because electricity will be there, internet connection and uh, water and toilets, all of that will be available at the underground stations. And uh, it is also important to uh, say that the temperature is pretty low in the underground, like plus 12, plus 14. So those people who plan to spend some time there, they need to bring warm clothes with them. But it is uh, like, th I think it's a huge challenge that uh, we have winter right now. Winter comes with snow, winter comes with various infections and viruses, with colds, I'm not speaking about COVID even. It also comes with uh, like frost outside and uh, slippery roads. So for people, it can be pretty difficult without heating. That's why there are lots of warming up points as they are called in Ukrainian, where people can spend some time, drink some hot, 
uh, tea, they can also get water. In case of uh, problems with water supplies, there are special buvets uh, in Kyiv and also water will be brought to these underground stations and other warming up stations where people can get access to water. Also, there are maps of uh, these places where you can spend some time to charge your phone, to connect to internet or to just warm up and to drink something or to use a toilet. And uh, people in Kyiv and in other cities that were targeted are encouraged to download these maps, not to be dependent on mobile phone or internet because there can be problems with that, especially if those towers that control mobile connection run out of electricity or are destroyed because of an explosion. And also there are lists of uh, pharmacies, supermarkets, banks that are more or less energy independent and can continue working. What makes me even happier that demonstrates the level of uh, the development of our society is that there are lists of veterinary, uh, veterinary clinics where uh, people can come during the blackout and they will be working uh, too. So. Um, these are very, very important things which demonstrate that Ukrainians are prepared and no matter what these orgs prepare for us, we will withstand and we have to win this war. But of course, it's not normal that Russians still like live as a country, as a political uh, source, uh, doing all that evil to Ukrainians and uh, uh, destroying our infrastructure, targeting civilian uh, objects and many, many other uh, negative examples. I'm really grateful for the support that you demonstrate for my channel and uh, for buying me coffees, becoming my patrons and most importantly for keeping uh, Ukraine in your prayers, in your thoughts and in conversations with people who still maybe have doubts or forget about Ukraine. Uh, thank you once again for your support. Slava Ukraine!